Oh, we on. Oh, we on now. We on right now, man. We on right now. Hey, man, I don't know if y'all know it or not or whatever, but um, you now soon that y'all rock with the best. I'm your host, Sis today. on another dope episode of Sis Corner Season 2, Episode 2. I got the one and only Jay Skizzle sitting here right beside me, man. Hey, Sis Corner is brought to you by um, Power by Virginia. Radio. I keep fucking that line up every time, man. That's I keep okay, fucking man. that line up. I got to practice that more, man. I'm just not used to. I'm not used to being on Power by Virginia Radio, so I gotta make <laughs> sure I include that in. Um, this yeah, is yeah. the Up Top Dedication Show, man. Up Top, man. My main man, Up Top, man. Um, I really had some technical difficulties, so I didn't. I wasn't able to put the link into the um into the joint because I had to go ahead and start the show. But um, if you want to hear Up Top, he's in my head for right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting up there listening to him. Got my main man right here. You know what I'm saying? I been mean, listening the whole time. Got the home, yeah, you been listening yeah. to the whole time. Yeah, got the homie right said, here. Yeah. Got the homie up top right here. You know what I'm saying? We sitting up here vibing off on dedication show, man. The little homie was set up there and took away from us tragically a couple of days ago, man. A young man I sat up there and watched. I watched grow up. I know his mom personally. Uh, we gonna get into that. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be spinning his music. All night, just go to that link, go and find the link. Go and find the link. You can sit up there and watch the show and her up top in the back or whatever yeah. the whole time. Hey, it is what it is. Like I said, I got the one and only Jay Skizzle sitting right here beside me. What's good, bro? Man, you God sit up there doing you, what you do, handling yeah, your man. business. I got the one and only um loud in the back sitting up there yeah, coaching. Yeah. Coaching and shit. You know what I'm saying? But uh, we can go ahead and kick this show off, man. We go ahead and kick this show off, man. We got I got a couple questions for you, man. What's going on, man? How you doing? Man? I'm, I'm man. I'm here, man. I'm here, man. I'm blessed. I'm, I'm blessed, man. I'm here. I'm here. Appreciate you for asking, man. Yeah, man. You know everybody come up here and they they get interviewed and you know what I'm saying it's about to, we gotta ask how you doing, bro. And you know what? I appreciate that, man. I appreciate that. That was a long time coming, man. Nobody else actually really asked. How's the host doing? Yeah, I like you, man. That was the reason you I like you. You got some stuff going on that we need to hear about, too. Yeah. You're always busy for everybody else, man. Oh, yeah, that's a couple of things. Yeah. You know, it's a couple of things. You know, a couple of things going on. You know, but we going to keep that. interview him or something. We're going to get that focus on you, <laughs> you know, man. So, we talking about the one and only Jay Skizzle, man. Um, They call you the greatest show on stage. Yeah, man, they do, man. God God bless me, man. Um, I always like to make sure people understand that I didn't give myself that name. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, that was something that people were saying, and it just started gaining traction. Um, I think XXL might have been the first person to really put that out there, and people start, you know what I'm saying? I don't even want to start saying running with it. They, I feel like once he said it, and shout out to Silk Ties, Aaron, man, because he was another Word. person that said it, and he branded it on every video, everything I did. When, you know what I'm saying, doing my camera work for me. And instead of it being a name, I think, that stuck, uh -huh. I think it became something that I took ownership of as far as having to prove. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like when if somebody calls LeBron the GOAT or they call Michael the GOAT, and around those times, you got to think that every time they go on stage, it's always somebody. It's Skip Bayless everywhere saying that that's what you're not. Right. So I keep that in my head, and I feel like from the day I started to now, especially now, you know what I'm saying, right. that I, I'm a veteran out here. I have been out here for a while, so now it's about me feeling like I need to let them know I still take that seriously. You know right. what I'm saying? So every time I get on stage, I try to make sure that's proven as fact. The one, Because you're only as good as your last time. That's right. The that's one right. time that I don't look like the greatest show on stage, to me, I feel like I no longer have that. And my next time I get I got to prove it. And that's when they're going to get at you. That's when they're going to try to get it. Yeah. That's yeah, when yeah, they're going to yeah. get at you because they're they going to they feel like, you know, you know, got weak or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But I got questions for you, bro. I got questions for you. So we talk, we talk about talk about Jay Skizzle, man. We talk to the one and only Jay Skizzle, battle rapper. So first of all, before we go any further, before we run into your resume, how long have you been doing this? As far as music or battle rap? No, as far as battle rap. No, let's go ahead. This is a musical show. Let's talk about music in general. How long okay. have you been doing it? <clears throat> um, my first project I ever put out was 2003. You know what I'm saying? And um, shout out to Marty. I was going to Marty's back then, man. And right. that's when he was at his crib. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, the crib. We was, that was before he had the building in uh, Lane Haven Mall. I mean, by Lane Haven Mall. And, um... Yeah, I recorded a project then, mixtape, you know what I'm saying? Probably had like two or three original records up there. Right. And um, I feel like that was... Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I went through four years of college, and I can say about 
2008 is when everything changed. You know right. what I'm saying? Is um, okay. I met Blends for like the second or third time, but in this capacity of music, I met her at the Screen Fest tour at the Convention Center. Okay. And um, she invited me to rock the mic. Right. And I say that's when it started for me because when I performed the first open mic there, I won. And then I came back the next week and won again. I was the first person, really probably the only person that won two, two times in a row. So what happened was, it was like from that point, it seems like I went from the person nobody knew to, I remember seeing him. Well, that's the dude with the push-ups. So ain't that the dude I heard about, you know what I'm saying? Right. And it was really, man, I always, like I say this a lot, y'all gonna hear me say this a hundred times, I really, really feel like it was God's work. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. If you're now tuned in, you're now rocking with the best sound of your whole sense today. You're showing another dope episode of CNN's Corner, season yeah. two, episode two, man. I got the one and only Jay Skills with Sam right here to my left. This is a dedication show to the one and only Up Top, man. Up Top dude, man. Up Top, man. Rest in peace, brother. Rest in peace to him. We're talking about the one and only. Yeah, uh, hold on, wait a minute. I ain't gonna mess ain't gonna fuck his name up, man. We talking about the Monte Christopher Price. That's what we talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Duke, up top Duke, man. I couldn't fuck that name up, man. Yeah, man. Um, so this is his dedication show. Yeah, you know, he was supposed to be a guest. He was, he was due to be a guest when the show after he dropped his project. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, you know, so anyway, that's why he's here now. I'm going to keep speaking his name, you know. Yeah, I yeah, got yeah. watched him grow up. Um, I know his mother personally. You know, you it's know. crazy, man. Shout out Capri because I was on Facebook and I saw Capri post, um, the timeline sad as a bitch right now. You know what I'm saying? R.P. Duke. So I went and put it in my search. You know what right. I'm saying? Because it's like, it's coming too common. To be honest, every Saturday and every Saturday morning and Sunday morning, the first thing a lot of times I do is go on Facebook and just scroll to see. And as soon as I, if I can go halfway through my timeline and don't see nothing happen. Then you know that last like, night was all right. That was a good night. Yeah, you know last night was all right. Yeah. But when I saw that, I went to it and, you know what I'm saying, you go through the find a way to find his, his name mm -hmm. and hit his page, and that's when I heard him for the first time, ever. I just couldn't and I'm believe like, it. That's what the problem is. Every time we hear about somebody, for the first time, a lot of times, not every time, a lot of times we hear about somebody, it's when they pass, you know yeah, what I'm saying? And, yeah, and, yeah. Like, that, I couldn't believe it because, like I said, I know both of them, I know his mother, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I watched him, like I said, I watched him grow up, and for something like that to happen, yeah, and if you know the details, you know what I'm saying, I won't speak on that because that's an ongoing investigation, you know what I'm saying, but if you know the details, if you know, you know, you agree, this shit is whack either way, you know, that's that's some whack shit. Um, like I said, it's this dedication show, man, so if you so if you hit that link, if you went ahead and hit that link, you're probably looking at the now live as well, but you heard, you're hearing his music. I got his music playing in my ears right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Dope, right? Yeah, yeah, man. I, I, I was. That's why I was. This video talking. right here. This video. That's not him right here. That, that's the guy on the first. Yeah, he right there. Right yeah, there, but yeah. this is my street. This is the street I grew up on. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? So. And that's what this heart. That's what's disheartening to me, man. Yeah. That I wish that I would have seen his name on my timeline before and got a chance to hear his music. This when I finally got to hear. It's crazy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying so, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. We're gonna keep, go ahead and keep it moving, man. Hey, man, I'm gonna go ahead and pick, go ahead and pick some, a couple videos right quick, man. I got, I got to do that. Oh, yeah, we gotta do that. We always gotta do that, man. Even in so, COVID times, we gotta pay bills. Yeah, you gotta pay bills, man. Hey, man. So we talking about the Raw, the Wall Street Cafe, man. Located on 118 West Washington Street in South Virginia. That's my homeboy Dominique's that's establishment. Go in there, get, get you some food. Hey, your mask is required. Um, they're open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. as of right now. Make sure you get in there. Eat that good food, come for a good time. You know, there's none of that drama or whatever. This is very nice, very nice, sophisticated joint, man. You know, so make sure you hit up the Wall Street Cafe. Once again, like I said, located 118 West Washington Street, South Virginia. Mask is required. Open from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Hey, and we got to go ahead and speak upon my baby girl. Hey, we talk about Lisa's Restaurant and Lounge, man. I done heard some things about them, man. I done heard located 1071 Drive, Portsmouth, Virginia, man. Hey, until February the 28th, all drinks stop. At 10 p.m. You know, uh, drink specials are still the same. Half the hours for five to nine. And don't forget the 50 cent wings. Don't forget that, man. Hey, those wings, those sweet Asian chili wings. All got my you, timeline. Man. Every time I, I, see all of my time, I see it all of my timeline, dog. Just saying, make sure you get up in there. Lisa's Restaurant and Lounge, 107 Juwan Drive, Portsmouth, Virginia, man. Until February, until February 28th, February. What the hell is February? Until February 28th, man. All drinks stop at 10 p.m. 
<laughs> drink specials, happy hours from five to nine, and don't forget those fifty cent wings, man. Hey, look, um, we, we talk about um, my people. We talk about nine eight clothing, man. Nine eight clothing by Alex Giles. Make sure you look him up on Facebook. Um, make sure you get those shirts. I know I'm gonna have on. You know what I'm saying? I want his shirts right now, but right now I'm in I'm in formal attire. You know, it's a special show today. It's a very special show. I got my main man right here. And in spirit, I got my main man yeah, went to the way here, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he was supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? He was supposed to be on the show, you know? Um, So we're going to keep it moving. We're going to push it for him and for my main man right here. All right, so we're talking about 9 8 clothing from Alex Giles. Don't forget to hit up his, his old lady, his wife, Linda Giles, with Bougie Fashions. Hey, that's for the female, that female cut, that crop top or whatever that you want printed or whatever. Make sure you hit her up as well, man. 9 8 clothing and Bougie Fashions, man. All right, so um, we're going to keep it moving, man. We got the yes. one and only Jay Skizzle sitting right here right beside me, man. What's good, man? He's sitting over here rolling up Earl J in America, man. Yeah, I mean, that's, man, listen, man. I've been at work all day, man. I feel I, um, you, man. Hey, man, who pushed you to battle rap? You know what's funny? Um, Shout out, man, homie locked down right now, man. Shout out Poetically Chosen. Um, He was a part of Goddess ENT, man. Shout out C and Wayne, man. I had to show them love. Um, Me and him used to argue. Back and forth, dog, about why, like, battle rap and music and the difference between. And I was like, man, battle rap ain't getting no money, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? As soon as you start battle rapping, they don't think you can make good music. I ain't trying to have that stigma on me. You know what I'm saying? That ain't where the money at. And it's funny because I went back and forth with him for all, all the time. Sure. And now, this is what I do. And the reason why I did it, man, is because it got to a point where I, was, I wasn't inspired to make music anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like... It was to the point where the music that the people want to hear or that the labels want to uh, give attention to, mm -hmm. they don't have no substance, they ain't talking about nothing, you know what I'm saying? You ain't even hearing the, the rapper's voice when you see him talk, and then when you hit a record, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't even the same person, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, everybody auto tuning, and everybody just doing the same thing. There's no originality, no balancing as far as different artists, you know what I'm saying? It's the landscape of music. I wasn't inspired. You know what I'm saying? I get inspired by other artists. Like so, battle rappers. Rap. So, battle rappers inspired you more than it was the last art form of hip hop that your words matter. You know what I'm saying? Like I wanted. I got to a point in my career where I'm considered the greatest show on stage, and oh, okay. I'm considered entertaining. Right. And I was like, I think they overlooking what I'm saying in them records while I'm running around on stage. So I felt like to get that hunger back to write the way I wanted to write. You know what I'm saying? I just start watching battle rap. You know okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Av was Av was one of the big ones that, as far as URL, you know what I'm saying, that made it from here. Shout out to Av. Yeah, man. man. And um, hey. watching him and watching Squeako grow and watching, you know what I'm saying, Roller back then, and it it I always had a love for it. You know what I'm saying? They the ones that they kept me watching it locally and got me to start watching URL. Okay. And when it came to the point of me losing that passion for making music uh -huh. and wanting to be involved in something that. Your lyrics matter and what you say matter. Battle rap was a natural transition. Okay, so we talking. We got you got the Seven City Shark League. You got yeah. Don Hammond presents. TBA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hill, yeah. Nut House, U R L Smack. Yeah, the new Sp battle. Blood League. Sport yeah. battle rap. You got all that right. Yeah. Um, so I don't watch you. I don't seen a couple of your raps. Mm -hmm. Got got the, got the book. The the, the, the whole. He want to hit the weed. Yeah, he can't hit this. You got to go, bro. So. <laughs> We got um, we got a couple of battle raps you done did. Mm -hmm. Now I seen you, mm -hmm. bro. You're amazing. You do. I thank you. You do, man. Thank I seen you. Man. Um, you know, you done went up against, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a couple. Who? Hold on. Wait a minute. What was it? Um, Jay Bree. Yeah, yeah. That was the um, last. Atlas one. the Don. Atlas the God. He was the Atlas first the God. Yeah, Young yeah, Riddick. Yeah. Young Riddick was my second battle. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So how many battles have you had? That's just those three, man. Um. I set out. Shout out to TBA, man. Shout um, out. Shout out to TBA. Don Heyman. I sh I set out. I had a plan. A year before I did my first battle, I was, every time I see Showtime and every time I see Doe, I'd be like, look, and by the year, y'all put me on that stage, man. We're going to do something big, you know what I'm saying? And it was only really I was going to do one one battle. Well, Don Heyman was really the first one I felt like took me serious. You know what I'm saying? He hit me up, um, and I let everybody know, whoever you consider the top dog, whoever you consider top tier on the top of your league, or you know what I'm saying, I want them. You know what I'm saying? Because I was feeling like it was, you know how like um, you see a dude, somebody play for the Wizards or something, mm -hmm. and they scoring 40 points a game. And I ain't talking about Bradley Bill because he's a real good player. Yeah, but they fast, score 40 fast, points fast. a game or somebody play for a team that's bottom of the barrel score 40 points a game and everybody think they're good. Right. 
And then all of a sudden, when you get to a, a, a good team or you play against a good team, you they, they look normal. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? If right, nobody's right, right, scoring, right. you have to look. And for a while, that's how I felt about the what the battle rap scene it became out here. Okay. I'm like, man, I don't really think they that nice. Like, they just look nice because the people around them ain't nice. I will say this. I set out what I proved to do to show that I'm better than whoever they put in front of me. Well, I got a question for you. But man. I will say this. I got I, a question for you. They proved me wrong. I got a question A lot of these you. battle rappers are amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have future top-tier battle rappers here. I got a question for you. Uh-huh. All right. Now, like, mm -hmm. okay. You know I'm ready. Okay. All right. I mean, that's, that's what you said. Off yeah. camera, you yeah. said. Yeah. All right, back. Because yeah. you would... All right, for anybody that's ever did the show, you automatically know that. Any anybody that's ever did the show, I've I've let you see after we've talked about what the questions are going to be. You know what's coming before it's coming. That's the way it goes. I don't know that. He is the only guy, the only interviewee that does not know what I'm about to ask yeah. him. Every question I'm asking, he doesn't know. All right, so um, on Blood Sport, yeah, with John Blazon, yeah, and you yeah. the co-host, yeah, we talking about the, um, top the five. We talking yeah, about yeah, top yeah. five best. Rock Battle rapper. Yeah, Blood Sport Report. All right. Yeah. So you said J. Bree, Tap Head, and yourself, Notes Delgado, Pinky Ring, and Pinky Ring Paul. When we first, okay, when we did the, um, we were doing the five, top five battle rappers around here as far as the new, the newer era, the, the, you know what I'm saying, the new breed that was coming up. Now, <clears throat> we, um, we had, we had, we kind of developed criteria we were going on that made sense. You know what I'm saying? And we did the actual years as far as 2020. It wasn't, Overall, it was just for the year of 2020, kind of mm -hmm. our champion of the year, you know what I'm saying, with the um, big league rap, major on the um, battle raps. So, once we got to the criteria, I had to put, I had to take Pinky Ring Paul off the list, you know what I'm saying, because he only had one battle. Now, if I would have included them, I feel like including his moon battle and gold battle, it was two dope battles, you know what I'm saying, and they was, they was big battles as far as things that I was wanting to see and what happened with them, like, both of them did good. So... We actually brought him off the list because he only had one battle. You know what I'm saying? In 2020. And that so your top five battle rappers. I, me, me? Yeah, I know we are. I guess let me say your top four. And I, hold on, we did. Let's, put, let's um, just go ahead and say your top four because you are already going to yeah, be. And I, I added Dub D to the list, man. He had another um, battle rapper that just started. He was the News Battle League. And um, as far as 2020, I definitely would say he was in the top five of 2020. But as far as me being in the top five. Well, you know, my top five is Av, Austin, Acacia, and you and Baby Blue. Now, see, now, he just named a, 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 a whole, like, he put everything in together and he put me in it. God bless you, man. I, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, you know, God bless you, man. after after looking, after after further review, the ruling on the field stands. <laughs> Jay Skizzle is a dope-ass rapper. <laughs> like, let's be real, you know. I I'm going to go ahead, I'm go ahead and put you up there. I'm going to put you out there like, man. I appreciate you know, it. Um, well, are you asking why I put myself there? No. What makes me that? No, I, I'm not asking. Okay. Because the proof is in the pudding. If you just sit up there and look at you, I would <laughs> shit. If I was, yeah, if I was you, I'm good, too. You know, I'm a dope rapper, but no, I can't battle rap. You know what I'm saying? That ain't my yeah. area expertise. I, I go there and look stupid. Off, um, I'm going to pull the M&M. I'm going to show you. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna throw up for real, mom's spaghetti. It's not. I'm just being real. I look nice yeah, now, man. but I can fuck all this up. You put me on a battle rap stage. I ain't lying to you. Yeah, it, ain't, it ain't that. It ain't that difficult. But I mean, it's it's, it's definitely um not easy at all. No, I understand. Yeah. I understand. I, I, when I did that, it wasn't off skill. I just felt I had a um because I believe that my about myself anyway when it comes to skill. Right. But it was really about the year of 2020, and I felt like I had. The biggest battle on each card I was on. Okay. Um, I more than likely probably had, if not the best, the only person that was comparable to me as far as performance for the night was the person I was battling. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I had the, the, the best names you could have out here at this time. Um, so when we judge the same criteria as they would judge champion of the year, yeah, out here as far as. And I, I was, I was, we was putting that just in the category of. The, like the new era of, of battle rappers that's coming up from this area. You know what I'm saying? So it was certain battle rappers that naturally would have been fighting for one or two and three. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That we broaden it to all the rappers from here. Bet. You know what I'm saying? You're now tuned in. You're now rocking with the best sound. Your whole sense today. Show on another dope episode of Sands Corner. Yeah. Um, it's, I got the one and only Jay Skills who said the savvy dedication show to the one and only. Um, rest in peace, man. That's dedication to the um, up top, man. Yeah, My main man. man. Well, one of the little homies, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, dedication show to him. 
Um, he should have been. He was gonna be. Should have been up here on the show. You know. No, yeah. um, he was. Shout out to his family, man. Yeah, shout out to his family, family, man. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna speak his name. I'm gonna speak his name for a little while. For well, for at least the duration of this show no, and for help will pass this. Shine his light. Yeah. Um, the man, man had four kids, man. You know what I'm saying? Twenty five years old. So this show is gonna be dedicated to him. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying? Long live up top. All right. Um, so. I'm gonna go ahead and pay my bills right quick one more time, man. One more time, man. I gotta do it. That's what hey, that's what keep the lights on. That's what keep the lights on. That's what keep the lights on. And this the thing, man. I think when when people see this, they just feel like you're just doing this to pay the bills. No, we actually want y'all to go and shop with these people. We actually want y'all to to do business with them. You're just not. Yeah, well, that's it. that's facts. And I do this for the culture too. Yeah, I do it for the culture. I, I do it because I love it. I live for this. You know what I'm saying? I I really need to see Lisa's real soon. Yes, yeah, you yes, you really need to see Lisa. You need to see Lisa. Yeah. We'll get Lisa's right quick. <laughs> we we'll go ahead and talk about the Wall Street Cafe located on 118 West Washington Street in South Virginia, man. Mask is required to open up at 11 a.m. 11 to 4 p.m. Make sure you holler at the Wall Street Cafe, 118 West Washington Street, South Virginia, man. Make sure you holler at my home. With Dominique Epps, man, a nice establishment. It was very nice. It was very nice in this side, man. Um, make sure you go in there and um, support them. Also, want to talk about, like you said, Lisa's Restaurant and Lounge, man. One yeah. Located on 107 Drive, Fort Virginia. Until February 28th, all drinks stop at 10 p.m., man. Drink specials, happy hours, 5 to 9. And don't forget them 50 cent wings. Them sweet Asian chili wings. <laughs> It's just something. You know how they got that song. You know how they got that song where they say, It's something about the name Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Bro, when you say Lisa sweet honey chili Asian wings, when that comes to, when that comes out your mouth. Oh man. It is the sweetest thing. I know. I can play that song in church, yeah. Oh, I mean, well, I ain't trying to disrespect. I'm just being. I, I, mean, I mean, it's real. It's Listen, real. Wings good. Wings good. He gave her the talent to make the wings like that. Yeah, he gave her. Gave her. Hey, yeah. make sure you go ahead. And, go ahead and holler at Lisa's restaurant now. It's located at 107 Chawan Drive, Fort Virginia, man. Like I said, until February 28th, all drinks stop at 10 p.m. Drink specials, happy hours from five to nine. Don't forget about those 50 cent wings, like I was just saying. Same. Okay, man. No, no, not right forget back. about the 9A clothing. The 9A clothing, the bougie fashion. We talk about Atlas Giles, man. They, they printing all types of shirts, hoodies, man. They even do logos on your restaurant. Your, re your logo, they put it on your glass. You know, big look. Holler at my man, Atlas Giles, man. Look him up on Facebook. Jabba G. Make sure you holler at his wife, Linda Giles, with bougie fashion. She does the female printings of printing of the shirts. Those, the, what is the, the, the crop tops. What is it? What them shirts or whatever? I don't know. That's female cool. shirts or whatever. She can handle it. You with that? Ashley seen some oh, of her work the man. other day. It was nice. She had on um, a shirt with a picture of on. Um, I think it was all females, all powerful African American females on it. Was actually dope. That was a dope. That was real dope, man. Hey, man. Um. So we gonna keep moving. I got the one and only Jay Skizzle said the savvy yeah, man, man, battle rapper yeah. man. So you still, so you making albums or you just gonna um, keep battle rapping, bro? Oh no, nah, man. I've always been a multitasker, man. Word. You know what I'm saying so. Um, the project, another project is really is about to come out very soon. Um, I got a battle in Cleveland on March the sixth against Los, man. Um, shout out the homie Fonz. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna be in Cleveland on March sixth. So yeah, I'm I'm battling. I'm still finishing up the project, and I only got like really two records to finish up. You know what I'm saying? So um, we ready, locked and loaded. You know what I'm saying? Then I got some other things that we about to do that's gonna coincide with the project. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, man, it's, I don't think this is the time to slow up. You know what I'm saying? Like in anything you do, I don't think people understand. A lot of artists feel like when they get they got they put an age limit on when they're going to stop doing what they're doing if they don't make it. The problem they don't get is their definition of making it. You know what I'm saying? Because you got people that's right now working a job for twenty five to 30000 a year. Now, they feel like they don't make it in rap unless they $1 million, $2 million, and they got all the chains and shit. When in actuality, your first goal is to be able to make more than you make at your job so you won't have to work that job. My question is, because... I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of the guys that well I can't go say a lot I'm speaking on your last your last battles mm -hmm. they come at you about about your age 
Mm -hmm. So do you feel that, because I don't, do you feel that the age factor has a relevance on rapping? Like, regardless, like, no matter if you're 17 or 74, if you can spit them bars, does that really, like, matter what the age is? Um, nah, I mean, age, age really doesn't matter. And because this is the thing, if I was playing basketball, age matters because I have to use my knees. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's going to get to a certain point where my knees ain't going to be able to... I ain't gonna be able to cross a nigga up like I used to. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be able to run down the court because my knees and my back hurt. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to music and you know what I'm saying, um, your words, mm -hmm. they don't have any expiration date. Right. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Like we're the only hip hop is the only genre where the older you get, the less we sh we 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 give you less respect for the crap you do. When you got rock and roll artists, you got R and B artists, you got gospel artists, they sing to they. 80, 70, 60, you know what I'm saying? They sing forever, like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the people we grew up, our parents grew up listening to, and we grew up watching them clean in the house with all of the, the Patti LaBelle's, and, like, they still sing, you know what I'm saying? But when you become a rapper, our genre likes to put a, a, a tag on it, a date that you can't do this anymore, and I feel like it makes no sense because a lot of times the older you get, more like experience, the wiser you get. You said on the Son of a Beach v -law, well, the Golden Key vlog that yeah. you said, you, can't, you, you hear me when I said, I said the v -law. I just, <laughs> I, I'm going to let it slide. I'm, I'm telling you, slide. what's in my cup is what's in my cup. No, nah, it ain't that. It's what's in my cup. What's in my cup is what's in my cup. I said the v -law. You said on the Golden Key vlog, you were referring about the son of a beach, was the son of, son of a beach tour. Uh -huh. You said that Timberland, Timberland said that all Virginia rappers sound the same. Yeah. Like, do you agree with it, though? Um, okay, it's the same thing when you say, when, when a woman says all men are dogs, you know what I'm saying? Really what it is is that all the men that she's encountered have now forced her opinion on the majority of men because she's going to the same places. Like, you can't say all men are dogs when the only place you go is five minutes to the club. You know what I'm saying? So you're getting the same people because they're doing the same thing. So I feel like at that time, when he made that statement, I felt like he was running into the same type artist because I was at every event. I was at every showcase, every open mic. It's a lot of versatility in Virginia. We actually, to me, I feel like we're the most diverse state because we're a melting pot because it's a military state. Right, right. So we right. got people from everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, and when you're in his statue or when you do what he's doing so busy, I'm not even going to blame him anymore. I was young and dumb artist that was mad at him. Oh, but snap. Man, I, I, forgot to, hey, man, I, I forgot, man. I forgot. I forgot. Hey, yo, I've been slipping this whole show, yo. I got to cut you off. Hey, man, make sure y'all call in, man. Y'all can call in, pay your respects, so you can call in and holler at the one and only Jay Stizzle, yeah. man. Hey, 757-964-9367. Can you believe I went this whole time and I ain't said that blind? That, that whole number once? I actually was on the phone been somebody that way. I forgot. Yeah, so, so I I've been tripping. Scroll, scroll, I mean, hard. Right, call in, man. Seven five seven nine six four nine three six seven, man. Yeah, but um, so we gonna get it. We gonna go ahead and move along, man. We gonna move along. Hey, I did tell y'all we're gonna. I was gonna sit up there. I am playing. I am playing Duke music, but I'm playing it. It's in the ears and it's on. On it's on. You know what I'm saying? Loud. You know it's on on the radio. You know yeah. you got to go and hit that link that I listed on my flyers. You got to go and hit that link, man. Hit that link, and you gonna be hearing not up top, man. You be hearing them in, the, in your ear, man. Real shit, man. Hit that link. I forgot to hit put the link on my post right now, but go and hit that link, my main man. man we right, looking at right. the video. We've been listening to it, listening to number up top. This the since goals the show that, that I seen. That one of the first videos I yeah. seen. Goals. Man. Every oh, every song, time, every man. song. I'm sitting up there, you know what I'm saying, playing on repeat. Yeah, you know man. what I'm saying. So you make sure you know what I'm saying. You hey. If you got to leave my live, you're going to listen. Go listen to the homie. We be you know what I'm saying? Yeah, All right, so we're going to move along, man. I got one and all up top, man. Make sure y'all call. Y'all can call in 757 964 9367. Hey, man, I got a question for you, man. This is a good question. This is a good question. Valentine's Day is coming up, too. I don't you know, really believe, you know, I don't do, I don't, like, look, every day is supposed to be a, a love day or whatever. I don't, it ain't one specific. They add that's too real, many of these holidays to facts that act like simple life ain't being lived anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I got a question of the day for you. This question is also about Chuck Black. I saw this was on something I saw him post on Facebook. Um, is it gay for your girl to eat her friend's pussy? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No. 
My fault. Is it gay for a girl to eat her friend's pussy? Okay. Um. Now, this question also goes out to is also asked all the all the women, all y'all women out there. Is it gay for your homegirl for you to eat her pussy or for she to eat your pussy or whatever? Y'all know how y'all go out. Bitch or whatever, and you sit up there in that ultimate. You go hit the club, y'all are drunk, pussy, drunk or whatever. Shit again. happens or whatever. You get back to the crib and you know what I'm saying. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, stop, stop. Okay. Oh wait, shit, that can't, but but what did is they say? Is it gay? That's a, that's that was a question <laughs> Chuck posted to ask today. Is it gay for a girl to eat her on um, friends' pussy? What do you think? Listen, I don't know if it's gay. That ain't my business. All I know is there's nothing wrong with it as long as I'm involved. Now, if I ain't there and they won't let me be a part of it, it's bad. It's See, bad. Talking, talking about another scenario. It's you bad. Know, but if, I mean, if, listen, I either, two things. I either need to be involved or at least let me watch. I mean, then I'll then I be the judge <laughs> if it's bad or not. I don't know. I it, it's, it's, People have different definitions of gay. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I, I don't even get into all that. I just know that I. I. I it's. It's important. I think it should happen. <laughs> I think it should happen, man. Just you're not too, dude. You're not try rocking with the best. Have your whole sister. They show another episode of Sis Corner, man. I got right. the one that on the left to my left. Jay Skizzle sitting up here, man. To I my saw it on Facebook too, but I don't. I didn't comment. This I learned. Is all, I learned to just read. This is the up top comment. dedication show, man. Right. Shout out to my main man, up top, man. Um. Young, the young homie man was violently took it away from us. I will not speak until the details because it is an ongoing investigation. If you know, you know. But um, the young life was snuffed out from us, and he did not deserve that. I'm gonna tell you right now, he did not deserve that. Smack, Smack said, "Nah, that's bisexual." Smack, <laughs> Smack said, "It's bisexual." <laughs> Big shout out, Smack. What up, Smack? Hey, what, what up, Smack? Up, Smack? Yeah. What's good? What's good, Smack? Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying. He said, "It's bisexual." I feel you. But yeah, shout um, out Smack out in Delaware too, man. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, Where, I, I went out there and performed. But the um, homie you know. was taken away from us too soon. It's only the wrong show is, 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 is dedicated to him, man. Hey, shout out to home, Long Live Up Top, man. Up Top Duke Price, man. Demonte Christopher Price. Hey, man, shout out to him, man. Rest in peace, man. Man, it's, man his mother is my friend. Yeah, his his yeah. his uncle is my friend. Like, yeah. I, I watched the young man grow up to see her, the pain that she's in. To see her, when I saw her on that newsreel, to see that pain, and I've never seen no pain like that from her ever yeah. in my life, but to see That's that, man, that ripped my whole chest out, man. That ripped yeah. everything out. To see, if you look at her timeline, I don't think I can make this up. If you look at her timeline, you'll go down his mother's timeline and see nothing but happy posts until just a couple of days ago. Yeah. You were like, you were looking, be laughing and laughing and laughing until just a couple of days ago. To see her in that pain, man, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even wish that on my worst enemy, man. Yeah, yeah. So on uh, Long Live Up Top, man, on uh, life that was I've just taken way too soon, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was, <sighs> I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, man. Long Live Up Top, man. Yeah. Straight up, man. For real. Um, if you go, if you go to the link, like I said, we've been listening, we still listening yeah, to his yeah. music in our ears right now. I can't really play it. Over, you know what I'm saying? But um, if you go to the link, I don't have the link posted on my on my um, page. I mean, on, on this show. But if you go to my, go down and scroll to the flyers, scroll to the flyers that I posted. I got the link, and you can listen to them just like we listen to. You can listen to the show as well. Um, just can't view it. I don't believe. But um, yeah, long live up top. But yeah, man, we can move on, man. We can move on into some news, man. We can move on into some news, man. See how you feel about a little bit of news, man. Okay. Um, I got the one and only Jay Skills right here with me, man. Yeah, All right, man. So um, I guess in the book they say um, love that neighbor. Jeffrey Spade, forty-eight killed. James Gore, fifty, and his wife Lisa, forty-eight, in Plains, Plains right, Township, pinned before Pennsylvania before turning the weapon on itself. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that was a video. Yeah. The, the um neighbors, the neighbors. It, went, it was snow, you know. You know they were sitting up there, push. Yeah, I, I think I can see that. Yeah, long live up top, long live up top, yo. Um, if you notice that they were sitting up there, they were arguing back and forth. Yeah, yeah. The, the, they were dumping the snow. They yeah, the they snow were pushing the snow. It was a couple of yeah. uh, uh, um. <clears throat> it was a couple. They were, you know, arguing with the guy across the street, and um, the guy across the street came out. And shot and killed both of them. Yeah. No, he not the only came out. He came out, <laughs> hit her, hit him. Went back. 
Yeah. Went back in the house. Got hurt. Some people yeah. came and, you know, tried to check him. Yeah, he came back. Some yeah. people yeah. came came out and tried to check All them gunshots, all them gunshots you heard. And the best thing you can sit up there and ask them people, are you okay? You just heard all them gunshots. <laughs> you just heard all them gunshots. I mean, they don't know what to say. I, they, I know that. I mean, they look like that neighborhood ain't used to no shit. But dude, when he ain't, when they see dude, that ain't dumb. Now when dude come back out, they haul ass. Oh, yeah, and they dude come, come back out home. and finish them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he comes back out and finish them off. Yeah, then he went, and then he went back in the house and he killed himself. Yeah. And so some of the stuff I've been seeing on social media is that uh, they had it coming. Because they say they was supposed to be beefing the whole time. Those neighbors, they've been beefing for a long time. Um... They he, they said that that couple had it coming. Uh-huh. All right, I really can't. Don't quote me on that. I, I, well, I ain't even gonna say it, but there was an autistic child in between all three of those that's involved. Those deceased. That was somebody's child. Uh-huh. So now there's an autistic child without parents. They're saying that the couple had it coming. They saying like, in other words, if you going through something, and I I don't know you, and I see you in the street, and I sit up there and make around and say something to you. That you don't like because you going through something. You might just because you angry. You might mess around and fucking shoot me. Like they saying that man had they, they had it coming. Look, those nah, were words. Yeah, those were words. They those was words, man. Yeah. Those were words. You yeah, you, you can't, can't sit up there and do nothing like that. Man. You can't be weak minded. Like if anything, you got you got before you even think about grabbing a gun or anything. You got you got options. You know what I'm saying? Right. You can either be because the only person who is unable to fight you back with your words. Is somebody who is unarticulate, who is not as smart as the average person. Because me, oh, I can go back and forth with you all day. Right, you know right. Yeah, I can go back and, and forth. If I, with you and, all if, day. and if I feel like I don't want to go anymore, I can walk away. It's I don't feel there's no reason for me to put my hands on nobody unless they put their hands on me. Right. They put their hands right, on my right, children right, or right. anyone I love. Fact. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise than that. I can go back and forth with you and talk all day. We can fuss. We can cuss each other out. It's up to one of us to decide that I don't want to do this more and walk away. Word. You know Facts, what I'm saying? Man, sad because story, if neither man. one of us put our hands on each other, we have not we, yeah, hurt we, each other. Yeah, we hurt each other. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing we can so come back from. That I'm gonna tell you what I saw in that situation. First of all, you can tell that they don't. They have. It's been a long. Yeah, period this, it was definitely some issues going yeah. on in between that. Yeah. That was definitely some issues. Like yeah, yeah, you, you, you something was going on. Now, what I will say about the couple is that this is the only thing I say about what I said about um I can go back and forth you that's how I do. I can't be mad at how anybody else chooses to react when somebody because like you said you don't know what anybody been through you don't you don't know what's in anybody's head what they've been going through the second before you do it. You have if I smack you and then you stab me, I can't be mad because you stabbed me. That was your reaction to what I did. Yeah, right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right, so right, right. This is the problem, though, that I've seen from that video. When he came out, like he said something to them about, like, why are you putting that on my side? Now, uh, I, the video I saw. He just kept y'all. saying, the video pussy, I saw, everything. I like, just saw, yeah, I just called it from, pussy. He was like, fuck you. He was like, pussy, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I, just he was kept, doing I called that, it from yeah, that A little bit right? before that, they, they, they just showed him, him, they just showed him dumping the shit, and it's like he said something or telling them not to do it or whatever. And that's when they now this the this the thing, they made all they said all that he called them all that, what that man did. He basically was like, oh, that's what you think I am. Okay, you can't be mad at somebody's reaction. They should have left that man alone. Obviously, you know what well, I'm saying. Obviously, now it won't right. It won't right. You know what I'm saying. But I don't know that man's obviously. mental health. Moving um, up, I, got, I just know that ain't what I'm gonna do. I got to move from this. I got to move from that subject. I got to move to another one, man. Um, that's crazy. Let's talk about the stimulus going on right quick. That's another. That's another. Um, that's another little something. Six hundred and fourteen. Heard me out. Okay. Per hey, this ain't me. This is per CNN. This mm-hmm. is per CNN politics. Mm-hmm. We gonna talk about that stimulus right quick. That stimulus. That bread. Yeah. The view. The, the view should go up to about one hundred and fifty after I start talking about stimulus. You need to tell everybody I'm talking about the stimulus right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. The House Democrats have rejected a Republican proposal to significantly narrow eligibility for further stimulus payments and are moving forward with legislation that will provide $1,400 and completely cut off individuals earning more than $100,000 and couples earning more than $200,000. So, I, I know a lot of y'all that came up. Look at it. Look at, look at, my, look at my phone, man. 
Somebody, my dad, I thought I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. My dad called me. Shout out, Pop. Shout out, Pop, but I can't holler shit right now, man. All right, so what they're trying to say is, oh, yeah, by the way, Chairman Richard Neal, Democrat of Massachusetts, placed forward a, to, a bill for individuals making less than 75000 will receive full payments, and married couples making 150000 will receive the full payment as well. Lawmakers hope to pass the legislation by March 14th. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just saying. Come on, man. Pass it. Pass something early, man. Pass that junk. Um, uh, pass that shit March, March, uh, February 16th. Pass it tomorrow, man. We need our bread, man. People need their bread. A lot of people ain't seen the stimulus shit from last night. Yeah, a lot of people ain't seen the first They ain't seen the stimulus shit from last night. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I just messed around and happened around and, well, it ain't none of y'all business, but anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but, <laughs> ain't none of y'all business. Nothing, but, you know, man. Go ahead, man. Pass this bill, man. You know, they said, hey, Biden is saying he is legitimately trying to work with, you know, coming together with a plan because the first plan that they tried to come up with, the funds would have been exhausted way quicker. So, you know. I'm going to tell you like this, man. I know people that really, really need it. You know what I'm saying? I know families that need it. I know somebody that really, really yeah, need yeah. it. Yeah. Me. <laughs> but you know what? Man. When you dealing with them, when you dealing with the government, you dealing with them folks, what they got going on. Yeah, I just grind every day, like, like I'm never gonna receive it. If I receive it, it's it's at, hey, it's a surprise. Hey, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't working on these people time. You word, word. You're not tuned in. You're not rocking with the best. I am your host, Sensei H. One another dope episode of Sense Corner on Power by Virginia Radio, man. Hey, man. Um, got got the one and only, the one and only. Jay Skizzle sitting right here, back right beside me, man. Good. Got the one and only. What's good with you, bro? What's good with you? I gotta yeah. keep on moving along with some, with some, with some news. See how you feel about this news, yeah, these news topics about, I got. That's a lot going on in the world. Hey man, you can, you can sit up there and have all the sense and still be dumb. Oh, a woman, a woman who was on TikTok used Gorilla Glue adhesive spray in her head. Yeah, she yeah, left yeah, it in there for right. a month. Oh, yeah, this happened a few minutes. I know y'all remember I was so the happy lady I saw this shit, from, from tick on TikTok. She I put so Gorilla Glue adhesive in her head and left it in there a month because she wanted to try to sit up there and let her jump lay back and you know what I'm saying. I saw, Whatever I was the case so may be. Happy when I saw you, this, you, man. you you remember that, all right? So yeah, instead great. of using what what I don't know, cause look as you can see, I ain't got no hair, so I don't have these type of problems. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't got the skills. I ain't got. I mean, I ain't trying to say. I don't have these type problems. But anyway, <coughs> she didn't have any Gorilla oh, Snot. Now, if you don't no. know what Gorilla Snot is, it's a, it's a, it's a type of, you know what I'm saying, a yeah. little gel for the women, yeah, you know what I'm saying, to help they, they, they hail their back or whatever. The ones that need to do that. Yeah, 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 the ones that need it's to do that. It's a lot of natural. What homegirl did, good, what home girl did, we talk about Tessica Brown, who is 40, mm -mm -mm. who is also a school teacher. That's bad that you that old and you that stupid. And you a school teacher. She not teaching my kids. You a school, she teaches somebody kids. Right. She teaches somebody kids. That's we talking crazy. about Tessica Brown, man. Um, Tessica Brown, the woman who was on TikTok, used Gorilla Glue adhesive spray in her head, left it in there for a month, which gave her permanent hair damage. Tessica Brown, she probably got some of this. Um, but Pete Gain though, Pete Gain, <laughs> as of tonight, as of today, Tessica flew out to Beverly Hills to um go and. See, take up an offer from a plastic surgeon by the name of Dr. Michael O'Bing. Um, he says he can complete, completely rid her hair of all the Gorilla Glue um, in just two to three days. This is what this is what he, this is what he said. Now, the whole procedure costs us $12,500. He could have fed a needy family or helped somebody's family out with that goddamn money. 12, 12, 12, 12.5. 12, 12, man. $12,500. $12, That's how much it's going to cost. And it's gonna talk, it's gonna take three days. Water, like some dishes. This is this is a, she's a school teacher. She's a school teacher. See her head in the water. Okay, so this is a school teacher. All right, so this is my thing. Where you get that bread from? Man, did you do a GoFundMe for your head? I heard somebody did a GoFundMe for her. If I can sit up here and cut mine yeah, off I when did. I realize yeah, I that, I that my hair last starts right here. And your dumb ass put some gorilla glue. You spray some gorilla glue. In your hell, if you can do that and get money, then why the fuck ain't nobody pay me when I and when I start balling my shit, dude? You should have went on the internet. That's and she left it yeah. in there for a month, a month, bro. <coughs> a 
right, man. All right, man. I don't, I don't get it, man. I ain't got. You can't see nothing because you can't respond because you got him. I mean, I, I listen, man. I and she'll school teach shit like that. But she like me wanting my shit to lock up when I first started my shit, so I just put gorilla glue on. <laughs> listen, man. Listen, man. Hey, look, man. And this is the thing. Hold on. Some, some it's a nigga right now that's hitting that. Oh hell nigga yeah! Right now that's hitting that. No, it's a nigga that been hitting that. Boy, he been hitting that. He been. Oh look, now look, God. understand, understand this, right? <laughs> the back shot. He been looking at the same slick back, melted. So he been for looking at the same for a whole month. He been, he been, he been fucking that, watching that shit for a, for whole, a month. whole month. He knew it. He knew. And I, you know what's probably he was mad. He was shit. probably the one that set up that suggestion. He was mad. Nah, I don't think he is because this is the thing. When you hitting it from the back and her head moving and you can see her hair going crazy, that's that's a pride, that's a self esteem. I know he thought he won't do it. Shit, her hair won't moving. <laughs> fucking ponytail won't go no fucking way. I know that nigga was mad. He was putting he in was, work and sweating. He was drunk off of Hennessy going in. It that shit was strand. not moving. It couldn't get a strand that shit move. was not moving. That's fucked up. That nigga was mad as a bitch. <laughs> I fucked up, dog. <laughs> hey, man, moving along, man. Moving oh, along man. to my next subject, man. Hey, man, you got money on your head, man. You got some money on your head. Oh, hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and touch bases on the old story right quick. We're oh, talking about Lil Uzibert has put had put a $24 million pink diamond implanted on his forehead. Look, man, I need to ask you a question. Excuse me. I need to ask you a question. I need to ask you a question. Why he put that, that pink diamond in his forehead like that? First of all, we was talking about with Chuck Black said earlier about the question. First of all, that's gay. That's first of all. The nigga's just too feminine, man. Okay, let's get past that. He just needed to just admit himself. So, second of all, I really feel like this, man. Niggas is running out of shit to do. They just bored. You know what I'm saying? The man like, put a $24 no. million dollar pink diamond in on his forehead. Somebody's gonna rip that shit off the My off thing is this. Head, Regardless... <laughs> It don't matter what you do on earth. You got to you got to have some presidency. You need security for the rest of your life. Regardless of whether you flop or whether anything. You will need you got a twitch you get, all right, so it's an implant. It's a, it's called surface piercing. It's what's an they implant. got one like too. Um what's the nigga sauce? Um he got one on his cheek right here, right? But here, is right? it a twenty four billion dollar? I don't think it's that much, but it's a tear drop right here and I uh, he shit. can never get caught lacking. Man, Lil Uzivert can never man. get caught lacking. You can never get caught slipping. Because all it takes is for one time for somebody to just knock your dumb little dumb ass out without your security. Man, that shit is just... So, hey, look. So what if he get robbed? So yeah. that means now you can't go nowhere without... Because they going to remember... You got that it, that shit sitting right there. Now it's empty. You can't go... <laughs> Listen, man. I... <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, man... God bless that man for having enough money to do you know, some retarded shit like that. Because he blessed. That's all I'm going to say. I ain't going to hate on him. Let him do whatever the fuck he want to do. It's retarded as shit to me. Um, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I know one thing. Never one of his homies. Never one of them niggas. Never one of them niggas better have less than a million dollars. So how he wash his face? I mean, So he, he sit up there. I mean, because what, what, what soap he is. Real, man. You just wash around it. Or you just hold your head to the faucet and let it come down. I don't know. Um, my next subject is kind of touching, so I'm going to go ahead and pay my bills one more time. And uh -oh. you know what I'm saying? Then I'm going to get back. If you're not tuned in, you're not uh -oh. rocking with the best. I'm your host, Sensei Asia, on another dope episode of Sense Corner. This is the Up Top Dedication Show. Pay my phone, bro. Up Top Dedication Show. And I'm sitting up here, you know, I got the one and only Jay Skills of Sense yeah. my love. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to pay my bills one more time because then I got to sit up there, you know, I got to get it ready to get up out of here. Um, we talking about the one and only Wall Street Cafe located on 118 West Washington Street. I'm guessing right now. I got to pull my notes back up. Yeah, 118 West Washington Street, South of Virginia. Mass required from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Come there for the good food and the atmosphere. Make sure you know what I'm saying. Get that good food. Um, make sure you go and support, man. Um, I want to call it the Black Wall Street Cafe, but I can't because that's not the name. So Wall Street Cafe, my homeboy Dominique Epson though, man. One eighteen West Washington Street, huh? It's black owned, right? Yeah, 
Oh yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Buy black man. Be yeah. proud of buy black. Man. Yeah. One eighteen yeah. West Washington Street, South Virginia, Mass Acquired, eleven a.m. to four p.m. Then we got to talk about Lisa's Restaurant and Lounge located on one hundred seven Chuan Drive, Force, Virginia, until February the twenty eighth. All drinks will stop at ten p.m. Ain't nothing she can't do about it. She can't do nothing about it. It's just the go. Look, man. Um, drink specials, man. The happy hours for five to nine, and don't you forget about them fifty cent wings. I already went ahead and talked about them chili wings, them sweet Asian chili wings. Look, man. He just said them about eighteen times. <laughs> you don't have them. You don't understand. Until if he find out they something. got them wings in heaven, he going to church on Sunday and getting delivered. I'm telling you right now, he gonna make sure he get there. So we gonna sit up there. We gonna talk about. Um, 9A Clothing, it's my homeboy Alex Giles, man, Bougie Fashions, Linda Giles, man, it's for those, pr your pr clothing printing needs, make sure you holler at them, Alex Giles, 9A Clothing, Bougie Fashions, Alex Giles, Linda Giles, man, make sure you holler at them, this is, um, the Up Top Dedication Show, featuring, and also featuring my special hope, my special guest, the one and only Jay Skizzle, man, yeah, yeah, hey, right. man, um, yeah. sitting up here, this is the Dedication Show, what, the one and only Diamante De Christopher Price, 25 years old with four What's kids. Up, he was up, um, he was violently snuffed out and he was took yeah. away from us a couple of days ago. So I gotta sit up here and you know I have to pay homage. I got I gotta respect that. I gotta respect my main man and I wish that I, I really could have got him on the show. Like I, I wanna thank to. you for allowing me to be up here on this on the oh, show. No doubt, that's dedicated bro. for him, man. No I'm doubt, saying, man. Like, no doubt, man. I really wanna um I I really wanna Thank you just because of the fact, man, like, there's somebody that meant somebody, something to you. You know what I'm saying? And everybody has lost. There's people that's watching this now that has lost somebody. You know what I'm saying? That meant something to them. And eventually bro, we got to get to the point where we stop. Bro, you know what I'm saying? This we have conversations part, about This is the part where shit get a little real. I got about 11 viewers watching right now. So right. what they going to see is what really they going to hear. Right. And anybody else that join in, they go join in, but they about to hear me get ignorant right quick. I'm about to get a little ignorant. Hey, let me see some of that, some of that look. We pass that under the oh, table. Yeah, 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 man. Hey, we ain't yeah, even got to worry about it. We got, we've been sitting up here smoking the whole time yeah, or whatever, man. but I'm about to sit up here and get ignorant right quick and, and talk okay. about some things right quick on behalf of my main man up top. I'm about to, I'm about to speak on his behalf right quick. Because I know him and I know his mother. So I'm about to speak on behalf of up top and I'm about to speak on speak on his mother. Not speak on his mother, but speak on behalf of her mother. I, I know she wouldn't mind. But on uh, it's been on uh, it's been said that there's a video that there's a video of this young man. Somebody rolled past and made a video of this man while he was down. You know what I'm saying? There was a video of this man. Somebody made a video of up top why after you know what I'm saying while he was down. Mm. Look right. I really, up until this point, I really didn't even know how I was going to come at, whether I was going to act stupid or act dumb, or whether I was going to just sit up there and talk nice. I'm going to just talk nice, because I don't know who actually made the video. Maybe it could have been a young person, a young person without a whole lot of mores that don't know no better. But you made, what am I sitting up here, I ain't trying to, um... Let me um, sit up here and play my main man in the background right quick. Look, man. Why the same reason that the same reason why y'all sitting up there talking about put the guns down. Put them video cameras down too, man. Stop that. Look, man. They said somebody made a video about this man. Well, he, they rolled past or whatever while this man was down. There's a video out. This man got kids. Look, on the day that it happened. On the day that it happened. I went to the site where there was a memorial that was already there. There was a little girl that was, well, I'm sitting up there standing back because where this place is at, her mo his mother's going to have to see this place forever. She got to ride past and see this place. It happened at a store. Mm -hmm. She got to see this forever. That's, when she ride past, that's where my, that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There was a little girl that was sitting up there and arranging some flowers down there. And this was at night. This was like maybe like, I don't know, 8, 9, 9 o'clock at night. What you not understanding is, when I sit up there and I'm out there looking, I'm out there looking at the at the at the little girl arranging the flowers. She saw a little girl. That was this man's daughter. She's a ten year old little girl. I believe she's ten. I believe she might be eleven. I'm probably right. She's probably ten or eleven. But she was arranging a memorial for her daddy's 
memorial right there at a store. Imagine that. Like, yeah, man. I got some distortion in the, in the, in loud. Yes. Some distortion in the, it's, oh. it's, <laughs> Um, I got, I got, I got a son that. Do you, you remember number? Oh yeah, that really no. I think it. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I have a son that age, so you know what I'm saying. To imagine this, him this in my, that position. This the man I'm playing in the background right now. Right. You know what I'm saying? But um, all his the video that we looking at, where he shot that video, that was right in front of his house. That's on the street where he. That's right in front of his house. That's right yeah. in front of his mama's house. Yeah. Like. He got the, the the situation happened right up the street on the same street, but right up the street. Mm. Like, look, man, put the put the video down, man. Put the put, put the rec recorder down, man. Help that man, of course. But why would you do that? Why would you sit up there and record that man being down and sharing it? That man got kids. You think it that that video could make it to his his child, man? You know these kids got phones. They ain't like it with eleven. We was eleven. We ain't had no cell phone. These love you always got cell phones. That video can make it to that girl, man. She want to see her dead down like that. Like, come on, man. That's crazy. This, or make it to his mom. Man, his mom's... The, man, come on, man. Y'all got to do better, man. Put them cam... Put them cam... Put the shit down, man. Put the, put, put the phone down. Because if I get sit up there and get pulled over by the police or some shit, I don't want you to record me getting fucked up. Put that phone down. Come help me, man. I want to be somebody, the one that actually survived the shit because you set up there and helped me. Like, don't sit up. Look, man, don't do not do that shit, man. Don't do that, man. Imagine that's your people. That's your mama. Your mama laid wide open, fucked up. And here I come. And here I come, sitting up here, coming along with the damn camera, recording your mama messed up. Like, that's come on, man. man. Like, who does that? That's the new thing. We are, people we, are recording. You, the, your Everything first reaction is to pick a camera up. Imagine that that video. I don't know if it made it back to his mom or not, but imagine that. Man, come on, man. Don't do that, man. Don't do that, man. That's this that this 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 show. This show is about the one and only Jay Skills. This show is dedicated to the memory of Demonte Christopher Price, aka Up Top, Up Top Duke, twenty five years old, peace, four brother. kids, man. In memory of him, man. My homie, man. Move along, get to one last, one last, a couple last little things, man. Um, NTB investigators, NTBS, excuse me, NTBS investigators say that spatial disorientation and not pressure from Kobe Bryant is believed to be the reason for the unfortunate incident, which took place a little over a year ago. There is no evidence whatsoever that shows that Kobe Bryant pressured the pilot into into the flying into the dangerous situation. And not only that, that was Kobe's regular pilot. Um, so don't say that, man, that was just to clear up the thing to say, for your anybody to say that Kobe pressured that man to do it, you know what I'm saying, to keep it, to keep it, to keep the, the, the party going or whatever, or to just to keep along with the schedule, you know, he pressured because, and just because that man was that man's regular driver, um, that would, they want to say that that was probably pressure on that as well. Well, for those of you who don't know what spatial disorientation, yeah. spatial disorientation, spatial disorientation, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's when you pull up, the man pulled up, and he kept pulling up, and the the the, the it was the, the environment was so crazy that he didn't know whether he was going up and down. He thought he was going up, and he went back down. He was going down the whole time. All right, so that's what that said was probably what was what happened and it wasn't for the pressure of anything like that um that he was you know pressured by kobe bryant to do that in other news kobe bryant's 18 year old daughter kobe bryant's 18 year old daughter um natalia bryant signs a modeling contract with img modeling that's dope, that's dope. gosh almighty that's what they said so that's i think that's that's dope man you know what i'm saying that's dope even though it ain't like you know what i'm saying they need the money it ain't yeah, like that, yeah. but this that is just something you know what I'm saying that yeah. she want to do for herself. Yeah, that's dope. Man. I think that I think that's dope. You know that put that puts the Bryant family on a whole nother plateau man. as far as you know being sports about about sports. Now it's about modeling. Yeah, that's that's what I, I I really like about that, man. Yeah. So we're gonna talk about 
Um, one last issue. Normally, I would have a, a, the game show portion, but I didn't have enough time to make that happen. <laughs> but we're going to talk about one more one more thing. We're going to talk about sports. And okay. it's only one thing to talk about in sports right now. Only one thing, what just happened. Yeah. We're going to talk about the Bucks, man. The Bucks won, man. Brady is the GOAT. Did you ever doubt it? But did yeah, you ever yeah. doubt that Brady was going to lose? Yeah, I, I picked. Um, I mean, that Brady was gonna win. Did you ever doubt it? Yeah, I, I picked Mahomes and the Chiefs. You picked Mahomes and the Chiefs. I was gonna, I didn't Why want, did you do that? Because I didn't want um, Antonio Brown to get a ring. Oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. So you mean to tell me you pick, you pick the Kansas City Chiefs to lose yeah. because you didn't want? Well, I'm, I, I like Patrick Mahomes. I'm a I'm a 49ers fan. Okay, I'm a 49ers fan, but I like Patrick Mahomes. You know what I'm saying? But those first who know all, me, I'm a Bengals fan. It yeah, is what it first is. of all, um, he's not. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, he's not. Um, he has he's he's biracial. You know what I'm saying? But he's blacker than Tom Brady, so I had to go with that too. I had to go with that too. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> so for the, for the most part, you went. You I went. didn't want. I I rather you know what I'm saying you know Le'Veon Bell for the Steelers. The Steelers is my pop team. Okay. You know, Le'Veon Bell is playing on the Chiefs now. You know what I'm saying? And um, Antonio Brown is playing on the Bucks. So you had a bad dinner about, about Le'Veon Bill. Nah, I like, yeah. I like Le'Veon Bill. I didn't, I didn't want Brown oh. to win the championship. Look, yeah, man. I don't think Brown was going to win the championship. So I, I root him for the Chiefs. Yeah, look, man. look, man. Yeah. I think we all know when it comes to football, yeah. you got to look at it, man. But look at, look at, the, look at, look, just look at, look at the cards that was dealt. He won or lost, though. Skills yeah. Look at the cards that was dealt. Mm -hmm. It was Tom Brady moved. Tom Brady made the ultimate decision to leave New leave England and go, yeah, and go to Tampa Bay. And called in a retired Gronkowski. Yeah, who was still complaining. To he come in. Yeah. yeah, and they could still co complain. Yeah, yeah, he, he was, was just retired. retired. It wasn't yeah. like he complained. They called in a retired Gronkowski. Mm -hmm. He still complained. They sit in there and bought that man in. Yeah. He had the weapons. They fortified that off that 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 offensive line. They brought the defense, the defense won't, won't, won't like the defense won't that bad. Yeah. But you got Tom Brady. Now we talking and about people, a man. And this is the thing people didn't say all year. They got Leonard Fournette from the Jacksonville Jaguars, and he was man. Listen, man, if you really watched him in college, he just didn't have a team. Like the year that they was good, Leonard Fournette was balling. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, he was man. It he was just was injury prone, but. He's a he's a very very good back and he showed that in the playoffs. Yeah, it wasn't he like had a team. He, he had a team, up. but he but he the goat though. He 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 put in work. He do what he do. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm I look. Tom Brady get all the love and respect. I I can't. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Niner fan. Joe Montana to me was the goat. But I think if you look at everything that's happened, Brady is definitely the number one. Quarterback Man, Brady is the goat. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and make goat. that make yeah. that official. Brady is the yeah. goat. Yeah, he, he, he been the goat. He, yeah. he look when you set up there. But I will got, say this: he won't be the. He, but look, he only be I the think they set up there. Look, it and was it was given he, to that man. It was given to that man. It was given to that man. Yeah, somebody gonna take the him though. You gotta understand, son. These are the facts. Patrick Mahomes was pressured twenty nine times. That's the most in Super Bowl history. Tom Brady was only pressured four times. That is the fewest in Super Bowl. That's Todd Bowles. Todd Bowles. Coached uh, his defense. He coached an amazing team. Uh, also, game. also, he, amazing defense. Also, this is another thing. Mm -hmm. I remember it was one play. You, everybody know what play we talking about because they done made a meme out. They done made a meme out of out of um Patrick Mahomes. You mm -hmm. remember what play we talking about? Patrick Mahomes set up there and threw a ball as he was falling. Yeah, he I saw was that parallel. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The motherfucker and the dude was like caught the shot though. I mean, he horizontal. The I'm not. I'm sorry, not parallel. The motherfucker was horizontal. Yeah. He, he got shoe strain. Yeah. He got shoe strain by um number ninety two William Ghoston of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, he got chased out of pocket by ninety two. He shoe strained him. As he yeah. shoe strained yeah. him, he's horizontal with the ground, horizontal, and chucked the ball thirty yards to a. I ain't gonna say he was an open target, but he could have caught the ball. Yeah, yeah. He could have caught the ball. And you now, have to it understand was, it was, I mean, something. It, it was the pass was in his hands. Like it wasn't like it was a bad pass. man. You got to help your QB one out. Man. You gotta understand something. You gotta help your QB one out, man. Like he was able to throw that ball thirty yards down on falling, falling. Yeah. And you sit there and you draw. You got you're on the biggest stage of the NFL. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Everything is supposed is supposed to be called at that point. Yeah, this ain't I mean, no wild card. Yeah, this ain't no regular right. season week three. You on the biggest stage in NFL. The defense lack. 
They could not stop Leonard Fournette or yeah, man. Yeah, and they man. old and, man got and they, decimated. Um, who's the boy Jones? Jones is second or Jones the third, the other running back. Uh huh. Man, they was going cr- dog. They was going cr- like it was put like this on both sides of the ball. Um, Brian Leftwich, offensive coordinator, Ty Bowles, defensive coordinator. They coach an amazing game. You know what I'm saying? An amazing game versus another Hall of Fame coach, Andy Reid, that's definitely going to the Hall of Fame. But they just coach an amazing game, man. You know what I'm saying? Like. I, I, I couldn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't believe it. My DraftKings was all fucked up. Man, man. shit. I <laughs> wasn't even able to sit up there and put mm-hmm. anything in the DraftKings, man. So the Bucks won. It was the only, the first time the NF, the Super Bowl was played yeah. in the home and I feel like they had town to of, the, of yeah. one of the players. That the, has something to do with The Bucks it, played they in earned Tampa that. Bay. You know what I'm saying? They made it. They, they, they earned it. They earned it. They A lot, hey, it. look. Darius was sitting up there and saying Illuminati had something to do with that. Man, look. But I knew they were gonna get that shit to the, It wasn't like they. Well, that is Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Man, don't think got, Tom Brady got to do a show up and just be Tom Brady. They got listen. You got he think, just got show up. Think play. about imagine who's on that team. They got Tom Brady, Antonio Brown, Mike Evans. You know what I'm saying? Leonard no, Lynette. it ain't even about got, that. You need to think about what's on that Sue. defense. Yeah, and think Dominic about Sue, who's on you know that defense. Like dog and Dominic Sue, Pierre Paul. You know what I'm saying? Like um Barnett. Um, David. Man, they, no, had they, a, they had some hitters, man. They had a they squad. squad. You know what I'm saying? Like, they ain't no team that, like, on paper, they should have been better than they were in the regular season. But you got to yeah. imagine, no preseason, people getting to know each other and play each other. Just for them to make it is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is one of the craziest NFL years. All right, man. So, we, um, we're about to sit up here and wrap this up, man. Um, yeah. But, um, like I said, this is... Episode two of season two, Sins Corner, man. Um, I got the one and only Jay Skills will sit beside me, uh, man. Dope, dope, dope ass independent artist, battle rapper. Um, seeing him in his first cup, first three battle raps. Yeah, yeah, he liked that. Y'all know me. Um, this is Sins Corner. I interview inter- inter- interview independent artists, independent singers, and interesting people. Um, sometimes my um my interviewee comes in a combination of all of that or, or two of them. Got an interesting person, independent artist. You do this. Hey, um, so what's coming up in the works, man, for Jay Skills, man? We're about to get up out of here, man. What's coming up in the works for Jay Skills, man? All right, man. So, hey, um, but before you answer that, long live um up top, man. Up top Duke, man. Up top Duke, Duke, man. Long man, live the homie, brother. man. Long live up top Duke, man. If I don't know nothing, I know he going to... Talk about you and keep you alive. You Long live up is. top, Duke, man. That's what's Listen. up, man. That's that. No, nah, I mean that's not what's up. But I'm gonna make sure got yeah, that yeah. Cause Again, he was supposed man. to be up here. Love Dedication to his show, family. You, man. Love to Long his live kids. up top, Duke, man. Long love to live everybody up that top. rock with that boy, man. You know and I appreciate the fact that I was that able shit. to come up here on this dedication episode, man. That shit whack. That shit yeah. whack. I say that forever. That shit whack. Nah. That shit whack. Um, but yeah, what's coming but up? Yeah, for but me, what's man? coming up for you, man? What's coming up for you, man? Talk um, to the one and only Jay Skizzle, man. So if you still watching right now, man, I need y'all to be fully aware. February nineteenth, um, the Hip Hop Encore. Um, I think that's what it's called. With um, hosted by Sensei and Miscellaneous, um, part of the part of the Monopoly concert series. It will be at West Beach Tavern, man. I will be performing. I'm back on stage. Hold on, wait a minute. West um, Beach Tavern? Yeah. They got a show. Yeah, they, so you want that ticket that's coming 19th. up. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll be yeah, there. I'll yeah. be there. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, because uh, Cal St. Um, Patrick on that ticket. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Library, man, concept yeah. on that on that ticket, yeah, too. The concept. Man, shout out to the con- crazy con- Shout out to both of those artists, man. Yeah, the concept and Cal St. Patrick. They both did my show, man. It's in his corner, man. Yeah, yeah. So Cal St. Patrick, that's the moment, man. Funny motherfucker. You gonna get a different J Skizzle. Um, you might get a Skizzle you ain't seen before if you ain't came to the right events. Um, I'm definitely, definitely got some special plan because I got new music to drop, so I gotta give y'all a taste of the new music. Um, then we got March 6th, and before, hold on, before March 6th, even though I ain't a part of it, man, shout out to the News Battle League, man. Shout out to Boss Man Bojangles, everybody over there. Um, they got an event, Extreme Chaos, on the 20th and the 21st of February. If you like battle rap, you love the battle rap in this area, man, make sure you are there, man. It's a lot. There's so many I'm not even going to name. It's a two-day event. I'm telling you, it's worth every penny. You're going to love it, man. We need to get the battle rap scene back up here like it was in 2012. But um, past that, on um, March 6th, um, I'll be in Cleveland battling um, Los. Um, and um, after that, when I get back from that, 
then the project's gonna be dropping. Um, I might give y'all a date, or I might just pop up and surprise y'all. Um, but it's it's done. It's really done. I'm just finishing up two records. Um, shout out to the producers that's on the record. We ain't even gonna reveal that yet. Um, shout out to the engineers and people that contributed and that you know what I'm saying work with me. And it's so I've been recording so much throughout these past couple of years and just putting records away. They don't even know if they own the record, and they they about to find out. You know what I'm saying? The songs I pick, but um. Yeah, man, we got a lot coming, and um, all I'm gonna say is, um, y'all might see a book, and y'all might get the documentary that a couple people been hearing me talking about, um, a little sooner than you thought. So, um, we just working out all the details with that, man. But um, just understand if you're an artist, local artist, um, regional artist, whatever you consider yourself, because you are whatever you consider yourself. Um, if you consider yourself local, you still local. If you consider yourself bigger than that, you are, because there's a law of attractions. And anybody that understands you write the vision, you make it plain, you manifest what you say and who you are by what comes out of your mouth and what you believe. So whatever you consider yourself, that's what you are. You see me over here babbing, over here, I'm babbing over that shit I got in my ear, yeah, man. That up top, man. You hear that shit? I'm sitting over here so, babbing off that shit, man. When it comes to everything, man, that you do, you control the narrative. You know what I'm saying? You got to grind. You got to put in the work. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how young you are. This about you. You, know what I'm that shit you gotta have home. that dream. You gotta have that 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 hunger and I never stop. You ready, you never baby. stop. I don't care if I make one dollar, then I can still do this. The moment you stop progressing and prospering and making any gain off something, then you can stop. So let me stop you right quick. Yeah. Let me stop you right quick because this is the last question I got for you. So uh -huh. let me stop you right quick because you about to go into what I'm about to ask. You. I know. Sans corner, man. Jay Skizzle, man. Final thought, man. I'm going to tell you like this. Here, take this bag. All right, so my final thought really don't have nothing to do with music, man. Um, at the end of the day, it comes to a point where we got to figure out not who the problem is, but just how to fix it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we was blaming it. The government, and then we got Barack, and then we start blaming Trump when he got in there. Like everybody, we looking for somebody to blame for everything that's going on for critique, for for police brutality, from crime, and I'm not even gonna say black on black crime. I'm saying from crime to to the financial state to everything that's going on to COVID. Forget we already know the problem. Forget who did it. Forget who's. Let's work on a solution. Whether it be for your family, your household, whether it be for your relationship. You know what I'm saying? No matter what it is, let's work on a solution. It's too much going on out here from this pandemic, from from the economic the the economic the economic situation because of what's going on with the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? From <coughs> we just people that just lost up top dupe. People that was you know what I'm saying, yeah, like, like you um shout out um um, oh, man, Fat Daddy Drip, man. Shout out Karen, man. <coughs> R.I.P., man. He just had a funeral. Wavy Wayne, they just buried Wavy Wayne. And it's to the point now where we can't... It's past the prob the, the, the marching and the, the talking yeah. and having these big old meetings. No. Oh, yeah. We need to hey, go look, to let me address something right quick. Let me address something right quick. I saw down my timeline, or I saw that it was a post It was like, some about Black Lives Matter. Black, I'm sorry, Black Lives Matter. Where's the Black Lives Matter at with this man right here? But he was killed by a black man. Look, right? Everybody killed everybody. White people killed white people. Black people killed black people. Mexican people killed Mexican people. People killed people. When that Black Lives Matter map, it that came out toward why law enforcement was killing black people at a higher rate. So don't try to incorporate that on this. Don't do that. And stop, stop, stop with it, man. Delete that video, man. Imagine that was your people's. Imagine that's your mom or something. And your mom messing around and dying. Here I go with a camera and I'm making a video of her sitting up there, passed out, gone. She down. But I got, oh, I got my, and now I'm sharing it with everybody. I guess I want to go viral or something. What's the fucking point? Don't do that shit, man. The man got kids, man. Man, mom out here, that's the worst part. I would have never, I would have traded that whole thought, that whole viewing to see his mother like that. I know her to sit up there and see her hurt like that. 
to see that pain on her. The way she talked is the pain that's automatically tattooed in her voice. To her that, and I'm like, damn. Man, we got to get to the point where it's, where it's no longer cool to be the shooter. No, it's no you know longer cool like, to be. That's, it's, that's it's that, where the it whole is, situation like, whack. From the you music know, you know, and everything. I would not speak from, from the like, going investigation. Everything we see in this shit but, is, it's, it's, they making it out to be cool. And and this ain't for the for the niggas in high school, for the 21s, 22, 22-year-olds, because they already got that mind state. But if you look at the little kids, they come up, your mind state, you come up like that by the time... You are you are adolescent or a teenager in high school. Who you are is who you are. Facts. Because facts, of what you facts. came up with, and they're watching us. You know what I'm saying? They're watching, and we got to find a way to make that shit not cool no more. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time they get to 2021, 20, and they and they really busting that gun like that shit, it, it ain't even about being cool no more. Right. They just adopted it to a part of their life. You know what I'm saying? That came from it being cool. Like the same rappers I grew up on. You know what I'm saying? They necessarily didn't motivate me to go there, but now that's all you see. So I'm looking at my homies' kids, and they looking at that, or if they see that, I'm imagining. You got that's what they see. You there. got any upcoming any upcoming battles coming up, or you got any um, mixtapes or, or albums coming up? The my battle on the sixth um, in Cleveland. Who you battling? Um, Los. Um, okay. That's in Cleveland, and um, called the camp. The event is called the camp. It's on my page, and we looking at dropping the project. I want to hold out to my birthday, but I don't think I'm. A, I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait that long. I might drop in May, man. I'm not even gonna say anything up front. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it out there, man. When it's done. Hey, man, it's been an honor to have you on my show, man. Real talk. Man. I appreciate you, from brother. Virginia. I, I man. thank you. For, uh, That's the only question I, here, I forgot to ask yeah. you. Oh. I just said up there and said it. Hey, well, well, let me ask it before I sit up there and close the show. <laughs> hey, hey, just Jay Skizzle. Hey, man, where you from, man? <laughs> I am from. Virginia Beach. Um, I want to shout out Bad News though, cause Bad News they adopted me like that's my second home. Um, but I'm I'm from the beach, man. Beach Boys, Southside, Bayside, Salem. They finally um, found out where you were from. Yeah, A man. whole hour, some change later, yeah. man. But you know what? That as long as they know I'm from Virginia, that's the only thing that matters. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, BA, I man. think we don't need we BA. need to stop making it about the South Side and the Peninsula, about all the different cities, like. That's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be Virginia. Right. Let's just be Virginia right. for some time. And, and because there's so much talent here, man. So much potential here. And we actually have a little bit of guidance here now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got your Capris. You got Lady A's. Mm -hmm. You got Nicole Buckley. Shout out saying? to Lady Live A's. Wire. She's supposed to be on this show you know what in a little bit. You got Shout out to Lady A's. You got the Double XL's. Like, the ones that, the Miss Blends, like, the ones that's, it was a, it's a group of people that was here when when things start bubbling as far as the local scene. And if you fast forward to right now, the experience they have, mm -hmm. a lot of young artists is coming up now can learn from them. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't always about getting on a show. Fair. Get them a call. Say, look, I'm going to take care of your meal, pull the money in your pocket. Can you come and just come to this dinner and meet me at this restaurant and consult me? Like, talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Don't talk to them at the show when they got 800 things going on. But hit them up. And you never know. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all about your approach, but I definitely got to salute the ones that's keeping this scene alive. You know what I'm saying? And we got new promoters that I'm seeing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Mandy. We got a new new promoters, a new young artist that are taking that step, saying, you know what? I'm going to start throwing events. I'm going to start doing that. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about no competition, man. I encourage all that. Like, we need to have more platforms, and we need to have more areas and places that we can perform, and we need to come together and network and support each other when they do other events. And come to each other's shows. And the main thing is when you get to them shows, act accordingly. Fact. Make sure that we got somewhere to perform again. You know what I'm saying? Like, respect each other, man. We do all this, you know what I'm saying, in our music. And it's you might hear a lot of violence in our music, but in the, in the same mind state, it's music. It's entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So keep that in the music and don't bring it to the events, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's getting to the point where we need to make sure that we control what we have control over, and that's our own actions and how we carry ourselves. You know what I'm saying? So to the the artists that are out here now, that's you know what I'm saying, that's 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 making a name for yourself. Just be mindful, like you want to have a place to perform. You want these clubs to let Excuse. us do that work. I gotta let these people go. These people been hold trying on. to use the bathroom. Hold on, the before, before you go, hold on. I gotta let go. these people go. Hold on, before they go. If you up here watching this, because you know what I'm saying, you heard I was gonna be up here. Thank you. I appreciate you. 
but don't let this be your last time watching it. I need you to follow this man on all social media platforms, and I need you to get into him with what he's doing. I need you to support him with whatever he's doing. I appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you, man. My dog. Hey, man, if you're now tuned in, you just missed a dope-ass episode of um, Sin's Corner. Um, my final thought. My final thought normally is on... Um, don't nothing come to a sleeper but a dream. You got to get up there and get out there and get it because ain't nothing free out here but advice. Mm. I want to replace that for tonight on some old other shit. Put the phone down. Help me. Put yeah. the phone down. Help me. Stop using that phone. Stop recording shit. I get recorded enough. I got enough recorders on me in here right now. Look, man, um, put the guns down, man. You don't know what you're doing to people. And I was bullshit with to put the phone, really put that phone down too. But put them guns down, man. You don't know what you're doing to somebody. I know, like this, this touch home with me. I know, I'm looking at this friend. This is a friend of mine. This is really a friend of mine. And I'm looking at her, and the hurt that she that she has, the hurt that she's bearing, the pain in her, man, to see that, that's her child. When I hugged her and hugged her and she looked at me and she said, she asked, it's my child, what am I going to do? I ain't got no answer for that, man. And, and it's, I watched that man grow up. This is dedication to Demonte. Diamante Christopher Price. Also on his up top. Up top dude. 25 years old. Have four kids. Got four kids. I go out there. I watched his, his oldest child arrange stuff at his memorial that same day. That was crazy. That's crazy. You don't know what you doing. You don't know what you did. On both sides of the aspect. For your family and his family. The family he created, his family, you don't know what you did, put the guns down, man. That was, that was he did not deserve that. That was basically, the, he did not deserve that. Yeah, I watched this young man, literally, I watched this young man from a child. When I was a child, I watched this young man, and I knew his mother personally. But that to happen to do that, that. That 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 was fucked up. That was that was really fucked up. Um, so this show with one with one of the dopest battle rappers in in the seven five seven one on the J Skizzle Virginia VA. Um, this show was dedicated to the memory of up top. Demonte Christopher Price. Demonte Christopher Price. Also known as Up Top Duke. He was supposed to be on uh, Real Talk. I was about to get in the truck. On, on Like, this was right by his mom's house. I was about to get in the truck. And, matter of fact, this was in the same area. There's that picture that was on, you know what I'm saying, on the news or whatever. I was getting in the truck, leaving. And he saw me, and we were speaking upon him being right there in your seat. Mm -hmm. And I said, when you get your album done, Holler at me so we can have something to talk about. He uh -huh. was like, bet. And he smiled. Well, the boy had a smile on him. He had this crazy smile. Like, it's, so yeah, I didn't I didn't know his, I never knew his age. I knew he was young, though. I knew he was old. He was grown, but I knew he was young. And I am now, I'm, I am kind of mad that, that that never happened. Uh -huh. I'm kind of, I'm very mad that that never happened. Like I said, I, I hugged his mom. And the pain, I ain't gonna lie, the pain, because that's my friend, the pain, yeah. you can feel her pain to be in that club of losing a child. And when she asked me that question, man, I just, man, got, man, got, man damn, man. There's nothing, nothing man, you can man, say. Got, there ain't nothing I can do. Yeah. Like, that's just, that's yeah. my friend. You know, I've known yeah. her for years. For years I've been normal. For years, 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 years. It's just my friend. And, but, you know, her to lose her child like that. Put them guns down, man. You don't know the pain that you done caused. It's what you done did. 
The if pain is real. No, there's no coming back. You can't, you can't come back from that, man. You can't come back. That man can't come back. That man got four kids. I watched his oldest child arrange as I'm sitting up there looking. I'm just out there the same night it happened. It, I can't wear well, that next night. I'm yeah. sitting out there and looking at his oldest child, his daughter. And she's arranging. I guess it's like I've like the balloon or a candle or whatnot. And she's lighting the candle at where he where he was at earlier previously. And I'm like, yo, and this is a young man I've watched growing up. I said, get the get the fuck out of here, yo. I'm like for real, this that shit is fucked up. That shit was whack. That's why I said in the post, and that shit whack. For your child I had to do that. That's why I said in my post, man, when the early in the flower, I said, man, this shit whack. That shit was whack for me to have to see his daughter do that shit. You know, young man, I watched you grow up into adulthood. Uh, yeah. He ain't even get the chance to live his full life. And for goddamn it. Man, that shit was whack, yo. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but um, I'm going to go ahead. I got the title. I got to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I, I got to go. Hey, man, uh, uh, this this show was dedicated. Dedicated to the, to the one and only um, up top, man. With the Rest one and only J Skizzle, man. This is Sin's Corner, yeah. man. I'm the one and only Sin of the Ace, man. Yeah. Power, on, power by on Virginia Radio. That's who got me, man. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, man. Appreciate y'all, man. And I'm out, man. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay here. safe, man. I'm gone. Yeah. Lively, I could have.